John a home point in large spells a very promising performance, but ultimately a bit of a feeling of disappointment. Would I be right in summing that up? Disappointed all day, and to be honest, um, Saturday afternoon, three o'clock, the highlight of my life. And um, I'm not enjoying it. I didn't enjoy it last week, I didn't enjoy it this week. Um, we're not consistent enough. We're not consistent throughout the 90 minutes. Um, and we're better than what we're showing at the moment. Um, and we can't govern what other teams do. We can't govern what other teams are about. We've got to govern what we do ourselves. And that was a game we could and should have won easily. And in the end, you know, all play to fair play to Northampton was hanging on. You know, the last 10 minutes it was attack versus defence. And if I was Chris, I'd be going away possibly a little bit deflated that we haven't won it. Um, but we've had enough chances to win the game and we're, we're hot and cold at the moment and another, you know, they'll think it's a good goal. When you see it again, it can be so easily defended. Um, it's frustrating. Uh, but we've got to go again, you know, um, and we've got to get it to the, that these are the highlights of our week and we've got to embrace them and, and enjoy it for what it is. Because um, we're not enjoying it, no, I wouldn't expect anybody else to pay an injury. Um, and we've just, we've just got this just tiny adjustments that we can just get better at. We, we could blow a lot of teams away in this league, but for some reason we're capable of shooting ourselves in the foot, as we showed again today. Is scoring from open play a bit of a worry at the moment? You seem to be knocking on the door for 20, 25 minutes and, and then perhaps running out of ideas and, and the other team gets back into it? Well, we're not so much running out of ideas, we just don't work the opposition keeper enough. You know, We must have had six glorious chances there and only actually at the target with two in them. And you know, we're caught in the moment for fun, but no, there's no killer instinct at the end of it. And that's, you know, that's something that we're going to have to address over the coming weeks. We're going to have to have that killer instinct in all aspects of our play, not just in the, in the opposing penalty box. We talked about the improvement in the defending from last season. Obviously, the goal you conceded, you, you already said you're unhappy with the defending. Previously, would you have lost today? Is that, a, is that a sort of positive you can take from it? Well, last season, I think we would have lost today. You know, I think uh, we'd have buckled under the pressure that they put us under the last 15 minutes. So, you know, you've got to take your hats off to them. You know, Jason, as much as he can be questioned for the first goal, you know, he's kept us in a very magnificent save uh, in the second half. But you know, in the first half we were so comfortable defending. You know, the the first time they got near our goal, we scored. And then you, maybe they had that before. You know, that seems to be a recurring thing. Um, so that's frustrating. But you know, we had the chances, and then after we made it one-one, you think there's only going to be one winner. And for 15 minutes, it looked like there was 15, 20 minutes. You know, we were all over them, and then the last 15 minutes we got battered, to be honest, and uh, we couldn't get hold of the ball. Uh, we couldn't get out. And you've got to give them a bit of a pat on the back because they, they up their game. But at home, we've got to be winning them games. Another important contribution from Josh Windass to, to win that penalty and stick it away, ice in the veins again. Well, you know, it's a sign of a good player when you're not having the best of days and you come up and uh, and a confidence to slot the penalty away. You know, he's done great to win it as well. You know, Josh by his own admission was poor today. In the first half, he, he improved dramatically in the second half. Um, but um, I don't know whether he was carrying it or not, and he's he's trying to to put a brave face on. But you know, if you are struggling injury wise, they're better off letting other players have a go uh, because we have got good a good squad and we we can absorb a, a loss like that. You know, Josh would be a big miss to us, but he wouldn't have been a big miss the way he played in the first half. So you know, he's got to balance it with playing when he's right, and I I, I suspect that he wasn't 100% today.